I'm going to show you guys what the difference is between a section and a column inside of a WordPress website when you're using the Elementor Builder to build out your website. What's up there guys, Izzy here once again with Get Busy LLC, helping contractors and home service business providers understand the internet, your website design, and get into business found online. And on this video, I wanna talk a little bit about the Elementor Website Builder. This is how I build out all my websites. And when I recommend somebody to build out their website, I usually recommend them to go build it out on WordPress and use the Elementor Builder because it creates like a drag and drop type system to create your websites and make it nice and easy to build out websites. I've been using this now for years. When I first made my leap to make websites, I used Weebly to build out websites. I experimented with, experimented with Wix and other platforms. I always knew WordPress was just had more features. Uh, a while back, I used to feel like Google really liked WordPress more. Nowadays, I don't think so. It doesn't really matter. But back in when I started, it seemed to me like, like Google was favoring the WordPress websites. But eventually I just stuck to it and continuously build websites on WordPress. I just like it. SEO on it is very, very easy to do. You can schedule blog posts to show up later at a later date. There's a bunch of things you could do with it. That's why I always use WordPress. But just in this video, I want to show you guys just some basic stuff with WordPress and the Elementor Builder. So first off, when you first upload a website, you know, on WordPress and you install a theme, I always recommend the Hello Elementor theme is the most bare bones, most basic theme out there. And what it, what it does, it automatically installs the Elementor Builder. It's basically a plugin for your website. So I'm going to show you one here. So you automatically installs the Elementor theme builder right here. And you can see my theme is the Hello Elementor. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new page to the website. It's always a big plus sign up here and you add a page just to show you guys the difference right here. So it's just completely brand new page on my little template website that I have right here. And the very first thing I recommend is recently Elementor made some changes where they add this container box now, and I don't see this intersection inside the options here. So I, I can't stand this right here. It's too complicated, especially for uh, average individuals. You know, it's just, it's just dumb. So usually what I go right away is I go into the theme, go into the dashboard of the website, go into the Elementor settings, go all the way to the features, and I turn that damn thing off because it sucks. I don't like it. So let's go do here. It's the Flexbox container. Inactive. Deactivate. Then we go ahead and save the changes. Let's make sure that it's not on anymore. There you go. Now we're going to go back to our site here. You see this right here. Like I said, I don't like that. And then I don't get the text editor intersection, the way you could create double, double uh, columns. So let me show you. I'm going to update this now, refresh it, and this will be gone. And there you go. This is the way that I started building websites, so I just stick to it. If later on I find that that inner container works out better, I'll gravitate towards that. I've been experimenting with it, and it just flat out, it's just too complicated. I don't like it. The whole goal of my channel here in educating people is to make things easy. So just like I said in this video, I'm just going to talk about what a section when you're building out a website and then what are columns inside the sections of a website. So oh, with the Elementor Builder. So here's a new page. So the very first thing I always tell people, just scroll all the way down to the little cogwheel here, go into the settings part and change the page layout. Right here's default. Make sure it's Elementor full width. It gets rid of this up there. So now you have the full width to work with right here. And that's it. There you go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a section to this page. And you do that by adding the plus button here. And you can see that it could create columns for you whatever you want to do, but I usually just start with this one here. Now, this is a section, right? And then if you want to add columns inside the section, this is where you go into the Rubik's Cube. I call this the Rubik's Cube up here. And you could add things like this intersection. See, now you have two columns inside of your section where you can add things in here. So let's go ahead and get rid of this just to show you this some... Uh, some things that you can do. So here's a section, right? Usually when I build out a header, uh, I usually create this section. I put it 
a title right here. There's my title. And then you could change this to an H1 title tag. And then you could center this, go into style. And there you go. And usually with the, the section here, I try to make it a certain size, the header. So let's go ahead and do the, the site. Let's see. The minimum height, 400. The default's 400. Usually that's what I leave it at. Like I said, try to keep things simple. But there you go. So now what I'm going to do is going to go ahead, go ahead and add some text right here underneath this. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and center that too. And there you go. It's all centered at. And then you can add a button. See, there's so many, but this is all with the free version of everything. There's the button. I'm going to go ahead and center that button too. Boom. There you go. But now, let's say, let's say we want to change this background. You click on, uh, I call this the little six back up here. This will change the background color of this entire section, right? So we're building out sections here. So let's do this. Let's just change it to, let's see this orange color. And see, it'll, it'll show a color at the top and a color at the bottom. So if you want to like have a gradual color of things, whatever you want to do, the options are endless. It reminds me of Legos. When I was a little kid, I loved playing with Legos. So it just, you just, it's all your creativity when building out these, these, uh, sections and, and parts of your website. So there you go. Look, I'll make it orange like that. And there you go. See, this section is now complete. And usually when I build out websites, I'll show you one that I'm working on right now. You see this, uh, it's a kid, it's a remodeling company. So here's one section here. This is another section. This is yet another section another section this is another section i created another section here and i did it in a creative way so you can't even really tell so that way this email form pops out and then here's another section and then you have the footer and the header which are totally things on their own but let's go back to how i was designing this right so let's go to here we go so now i'm going to have i'm going to add another section all right, so we go to the plus sign, go to this one here, and I'm going to go ahead and make this 400 too. So let's go ahead to, uh, let's see here, the height, let's make it minimal height, which is 400. So now I have a section here. But in this section, what I want to do is I want to add columns. So you want to add columns inside of your section. So let's go ahead and add this intersection. See, now I have two columns inside of this section. Let's, let's change the color of the section too so you guys can tell, tell the difference. Background color, let's make this one green so it completely stands out. See, now I have a new section. And like I said, I can adjust the size of that section. So let's say I wanted to build something like, like this right here. Right. There's a little bit more I went into, like creating spaces and everything like that. But I'm going to show you how I built this really quickly. So let's go back to the site. So I want three, three columns. So this is a column. This is a column. So you just click on this little gray button there and you can add a new column. Duplicate. So now I have three columns. You see that? And now I'm going to go ahead and add. These are all the paid ones. I don't want any of that stuff. Like I said, I'm just working with free stuff. Let's go with icon box. I believe that's what it is. There you go. That's it right there. So there's the icon right there and we could just duplicate. So now you see that this little, uh, what do they call them? Uh, elements, they call them elements. So, okay, here's your section. These are your columns and all of these are elements. So these are elements that go inside the columns. The columns go inside your section. I hope I'm kind of making you guys understand that to make it really easy to understand. So what I do here is just duplicate this and pop it into this other column here. I'm going to duplicate this one, pop it into this column right here. I can use the same button right here. I could duplicate it and put it underneath this section with the three columns. So now I have a, a button right here and you could create like a spacer. Here's the element for a spacer. I'm going to put it right above the button. Oops, it, it went underneath one. There you go. And now I have space between it. You see that? So then you could write 
your little information here. Whoops, you could change this icon to whatever you want. That's just a bunch of different options. And then again, you create another section. See, now you have another section. You go into your little, you can, like I said, adjust the size of it. You can add, let's say, images. One gigantic image. Like I said, the possibilities are basically endless with this thing. But on this video, I basically wanted to show you guys what this difference is between a section and a column on your website. So another way to do it is just like, so imagine this is your section of that of the website, and then you're adding a column over it. And there's another column. And you can do three columns, four columns, whatever you want to do. Now, this is a column inside of the section that you're building on your website. Like I said, you can keep going and going. You can add a bunch of different sections get a bunch of different columns. So now you have four columns and the things that you can do with it are pretty amazing. This is why I was able to come up with like designs like this. Like I said, it's a work in progress, but this is basically a, a column and a column. This is a section. This is a column, column, column with an element inside each column. Here's another section with images, images, images inside little columns I created in here. And I made another mini column in here, a mini, uh, mini column here, another column here, another column here. And these are elements inside of those columns. If that makes sense for you guys, another section here, I added the title here and then I added columns, 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 and then elements inside each one of those columns. So that's basically how I build out these websites with, uh, Elementor. So that's why I want to make this video and explain those two differences between a section and the column of your website. If you keep fiddling around with it, messing around with it, like I said, just try to imagine yourself being a little kid playing with Legos. And you got a pile of pile of blocks there, and it's just completely up to your creativity on how you start structuring and build it out for whatever business that you're in, whatever service you provide in your local market. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys on this video. And if you want to learn more and more about building out your own website, doing this SEO stuff, doing your own digital marketing for your websites and all your business and stuff. Or if you don't want to deal with any of this crap, I have links here to descri uh, the description here below where you can reach out to me. I could build out your website for you, do all your digital marketing, your SEO, all that stuff on there. So again, that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. If you guys want to learn more about some of the stuff, kind of like the keywords, like I'm doing the keyword research when building out your website, I created a video for that exact thing right here. And you can check that out anytime here. And that's all I got for you guys today. Until next time.